All right, sports fans are wondering what happened after learning Bronny James, son of NBA star LeBron James, suffered cardiac arrest during basketball practice Monday morning. A yeah, family spokesperson says the 18-year-old is in stable condition and is no longer in the ICU. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us to discuss potential causes and what we can all take away from this incident, Doc. Absolutely, Kim and Devin. You know, anytime events like this occur, they become important opportunities to remind everyone why CPR training and access to an automated defibrillator or AED is so critical to save lives. Now, to be clear, we have limited inf information on what happened to Bronnie James, but there is still a great deal for everyone and especially parents to learn. I think we're often surprised when we see uh, young individuals, especially those who are really fit athletes, as an example, have cardiac arrest, but I think it highlights that no one's immune from what we refer to as sudden cardiac death. Dr. Herb Aronow, the medical director of cardiovascular services at Henry Ford Health, points out that in young people, there are many potential causes. Someone who might have been born with some kind of abnormality with their heart's conduction system, that's the electrical wiring uh, through which electrical impulses travel uh, in the heart muscle. Other causes include a thickened heart muscle, abnormal coronary arteries, problems with the heart valves, or... Perhaps someone developed weakness of heart muscle because of a virus or because um, they were genetically predisposed. Some athletes undergo heart screening exams that include a physical exam, EKG, and even an echocardiogram or ultrasound of the heart. Those can identify problems, but... None of it is perfect, and um, not just because no study is perfect, but even if everything looked normal at the time of screening, things can develop after screening sometimes. They can put someone at risk, and they wouldn't have been known. And all of that, again, highlights the need for CPR training and... Also access to AEDs. Those are those um, external defibrillators uh, that are now frequently found in schools. Now, while Dr. Aronow doesn't have any direct knowledge of Bronnie James' situation, he says the fact that he was transitioned out of the ICU to a general medical unit so quickly is actually a good sign that he likely didn't suffer any serious brain, lung, or heart injury that would have necessitated longer ICU mm -hmm. care. That's yeah. really, really good news. Well, did the doctor comment on how likely this might end his career? Hopefully not, but... Well, hopefully he, not, you know, yeah. and we did talk about that. And, of course, right now a lot of this is speculation, but depending on what's found, there are, in fact, many potential causes that would not stop someone from continuing on as a professional athlete. In fact, even some of the potentially more serious things are often manageable mm. with medication. That's so good. we'll just have to wait and see how this evolves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dr. McGeorge, thank you. Mm -hmm.